Hey guys, Tech Tipper 101 here again, and I'm still going through a bunch of features of iOS 6. Here's a quick one for you guys out there. As you can see, the settings icon has been uh, revamped. Uh, let's bring it closer to the screen, and if you can see the gears and icon, it actually looks pretty different. Now, if we actually jump into settings, we'll see even more differences. As you can see, um, the icons are grouped differently. There's a different separator so the UI has changed but first of all as you can see we have airplane mode Wi-Fi and Bluetooth automatically a lot of people were annoyed that Bluetooth was like several layers of settings in and they couldn't access it quickly so Apple has said uh, or rather Apple has put Bluetooth on the front page of settings so it's easy to access all the time then we see a new option called do not disturb if we enable that as you can see we have a little moon icon show up next to the clock if you guys pay attention and what that basically does it it doesn't alert you for your notifications it doesn't make any noise or it doesn't send you any alerts pretty much but the notification still comes so if you are receiving text messages and your phone is on um, silent or vibrate and those messages are important do not disturb or overwrite all your notification settings so if you're going to sleep and you don't want to wake up to text uh, you can set uh, do not disturb on now another feature of do not disturb is uh, you can actually allow calls from favorites you can allow uh, repeated calls you can schedule it so if it's an emergency call if they call you back twice within three minutes then that call will override the do not disturb so let's say if you know god forbid someone's in an accident and they're trying to contact you and you have do not disturb on they call you the first time you won't hear the call but the second time if they call you within three minutes you will get the call so a really nice uh, feature on uh, apple's behalf then we have uh, notifications uh, not much has changed in notifications it's the same as ios 5. if we hop into general uh, we have a new option for siri because siri is enabled on you know ipad 3 and we have a new privacy uh, button or privacy option which allows us to fine-tune which applications gets to use our contacts our pictures and photos and so on also as you can see if we scroll down a little bit we have a dedicated uh, menu set for Twitter and Facebook Twitter and Facebook has now been officially integrated into uh, iOS so if you actually go down in notification center you can actually see it says tap to tweet so if I tap here it will uh, tweet for me and if I can also add the Facebook in there as well and it will just divide into two and it will show uh, Facebook right now I'm not signed into Facebook so it's not showing up there but that's pretty much it for settings those two options if you go into other um, options there's very minimal changes like if you go into Safari now you have the option to always show bookmarks uh, toolbar or not and um, if you go to iTunes store you have uh, the ability to sign into music because we have iTunes match uh, we have home sharing all these features were uh, pretty much existent before but the big difference is the do not disturb the privacy and uh, the Facebook and Twitter integration into uh, iOS so wherever you are you can automatically start tweeting send a picture or put a Facebook status so that's another quick feature set of iOS 6 Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you find any other features, and I'll continue to dig into iOS 6 to see what else I can find. Stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Tech Tipper 101 out.